React Native or Flutter? We are going to be looking at which one of these frameworks you should be looking into and which one ultimately will reign supreme in 2021. We are going to analyze both frameworks and what the industry trends tell us as to which direction mobile app development is heading. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Bo. This video is going to go over the current state of both of these frameworks and highlight what industry trends are telling us and analyzing the statistical data behind these frameworks. Let's be honest, if you were to talk to most unbiased software engineers, they could build a mobile app that you're looking for with either of these frameworks most likely. So which one should you choose? Instead of looking at each individual framework's resumes and what they bring to the table as far as performance and their tech stacks, we're gonna take a closer look at the history leading up to and through 2020 and what the data can tell us about the trajectory heading into 2021. Cross-platform development is still a fairly new type of development in the mobile app space. Frameworks such as React Native and Flutter give companies and developers the ability to build apps in multiple platforms, all from a single code base. Comparing these two frameworks historically gets a little difficult, as there's a 26-month gap between when each was released. Due to this gap in release, we're going to be taking a closer look in the past two years worth of data in 2019 and 2020. If we look at historical data in 2019 as to which cross-platform framework developers use the most, React Native captured a staggering 42% of the market, while Flutter trailed at about 30%. However, data from 2020 shows that Flutter closed that gap by 9%. React Native captured 42% once again, and Flutter captured 39% of the market, only 3% behind React Native. Another telling statistic that developers often use to compare popular frameworks are GitHub repo stars and Google Trends. If we look at GitHub stars and where React Native ranked in 2019 as well as in 2020, we'll notice that React Native was ranked 8th as most starred repo in 2019, and Flutter was ranked 10th in 2019. Fast forward to 2020, however, and Flutter has quickly jumped up to 7th with React Native trailing at 10th. Now, GitHub stars are not a metric that can be relied upon for knowing what the market is actually using, but it paints us a picture as to the popularity and growth of frameworks based on developer insights. A lot of this growth and popularity for Flutter's framework came from a massive increase in the Flutter community's popularity in India and other countries worldwide during the pandemic. If we take a look at Google Trends, we'll notice that leading up to 2019, React Native dominated in terms of number of searches for each of these two frameworks. In March of this year, however, Flutter passed React Native in terms of search counts. Much of this was due to the pandemic and the international boost that Flutter saw. If we were to analyze and look at any one of these three data points individually, it'd be difficult to formulate an opinion and say for certain that Flutter is indeed outgrowing React Native. However, when we combine all three of these statistics, it paints a clear picture that Flutter is in fact starting to surpass React Native in terms of popularity. Being that React Native is a Facebook-backed product and that they've built all their apps in React Native, currently most apps in production and used by enterprises are indeed React Native apps and not Flutter. However, we have seen some big name companies start to build Flutter apps in 2020, and it's expected that that number will continue to increase in 2021. As to whether or not Flutter will surpass React Native in terms of production worthy apps next year, that's still to be seen. But in terms of popularity and number developers using, it seems that Flutter probably will surpass React Native next year. Despite the shifts and trends, React Native is still a very popular framework and will continue to be a very popular framework going into 2021. However, if you're a company or you're an individual who's looking for what's gonna be the next big thing, I think it's safe to say that Flutter is going to pass React Native in terms of popularity in just a matter of time. Now, if you're trying to figure out what framework works best for your team and which one will get the job done, you can build pretty much any app you want with either framework. It really comes down to what is the preference of your engineers? What is the preference of the stakeholders? And ultimately, who do you care to have back in your product? Uh, Facebook-backed React Native with a JavaScript language or a Google-backed Flutter with the Dart language. Either way, in my opinion, you can't go wrong, but I hope these statistics were helpful for you in formulating an opinion of your own. 
And if you want to see more Flutter content weekly, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.